This is Dr. Carling from the Carling Adrenal Center. I want to talk to you about primary aldosteronism, Crohn syndrome, and your kidneys. So as you know, primary aldosteronism is caused by adrenal tumors producing too much aldosterone. Uh, but before surgery, it puts a lot of strain on your kidneys, something called glomerular hyperfiltration with inflammation and scarring to the kidney. So it increases the risk of chronic kidney disease, what's called CKD. The adrenalectomy, meaning the minibac scope adrenalectomy, uh, cures the PA and will protect your kidneys going forward. But what's important to know is that by normalizing the aldosterone levels, surgery holds kidney stress, which prevents further damage. But, and of course, it uh, uh, corrects the blood pressure and the potassium imbalances. But after surgery, the GFR may actually decline a bit. And this is not because you have worsening kidneys, but it unmasks pre-existing kidney disease. So it's very important for you as a patient to know about this, as well as your kidney doctor, the nephrologist. So patients with long-standing high blood pressure, diabetes, and low potassium before surgery are at a higher risk for more pronounced GFR drop after surgery. And the nephrologists need to know about this. And they will monitor you especially closely six weeks after surgery. So patients expect this potential change. Maintain your regular follow-up with your nephrologist and discuss your medical history uh, with your nephrologist. And proactive monitoring ensures early intervention if chronic kidney disease is present.